Have you ever wondered how many centuries it will take for the plastic bottle in your hand to decompose? It's a sobering thought, isn't it? Each year we generate millions of tons of plastic waste. This waste is more than just an eyesore. It's a ticking time bomb for our environment and the wildlife that inhabit it. Plastic, unlike organic matter, doesn't decompose easily. A plastic bottle, for instance, takes an astonishing 400 to 1,000 years to break down. Imagine the plastic bottle you're holding right now could still exist in some form a millennium from now. That's a legacy none of us want to leave behind. Plastic waste is not only a pervasive problem, it's an enduring one. It litters our landscapes, chokes our waterways, and harms our wildlife. It's a problem that seems insurmountable. But what if the solution to this problem isn't as elusive as we think? The plastic problem is daunting. But could a solution be hiding in plain sight? Bacteria, often seen as harmful, might just be our unexpected ally in the fight against plastic pollution. Now let's put our science hats on and dive into this fascinating development. It's no secret that plastic is a tough cookie to break down. Enter our tiny warriors, certain strains of bacteria that have a surprising appetite for plastic. These microscopic marvels were discovered serendipitously, and they work by secreting enzymes that break down plastic molecules into smaller, digestible bits. They're the ultimate recyclers, turning what was once an environmental nightmare into something much less harmful. Now, they're not picky eaters. They can chow down on a variety of plastics from your everyday single-use items to the more stubborn, long-lasting types. Compared to traditional methods of burning or burying plastic, which come with their own environmental baggage, these bacteria offer a cleaner, greener alternative. But what does this mean for our future? Harnessing the power of bacteria to combat plastic pollution could revolutionize waste management. That's right, the microscopic organisms we often associate with disease and decay may become our allies in the fight against plastic waste. Scientists around the globe are currently exploring the possibilities of bacteria-based solutions. One such research led to the discovery of Idionella sakaiensis, an extraordinary bacterium that can break down PET, a common form of plastic used in bottles and packaging. The enzyme produced by this bacterium, PETUS, can degrade PET into its basic components, which can then be reused to produce new PET materials. Another exciting development is the use of genetically engineered bacteria. Scientists are working to modify the DNA of certain bacteria strains, enhancing their ability to digest plastics. By tweaking their genetic makeup, these bacteria can potentially consume plastics at a rate faster than ever before, significantly reducing the time it takes for these materials to break down. But using bacteria to solve our plastic problem isn't as simple as it sounds. There are challenges to overcome. For instance, we need to ensure the safety and controlled use of these bacteria. We wouldn't want them to end up in a wrong place, causing unforeseen environmental consequences. Moreover, the process of biodegradation is slower compared to traditional methods of waste disposal. Thus, optimizing the process to make it more efficient is another hurdle to cross. However, the implications for the environment are enormous. If we can harness the power of bacteria effectively, we could significantly reduce plastic pollution, protect our oceans, and preserve our ecosystems. This approach could revolutionize how we manage and recycle our waste, transitioning us from a throwaway culture to a circular economy where waste is not waste but a resource to be reused. While we're still a way off from a bacterial solution being widely adopted, the potential is too great to ignore. So next time you think of bacteria, remember they might just be the superheroes we need to win the war against plastic pollution.